Hey, so this is just a little Sephora haul. This is just the finishing off of my Christmas shopping. The stuff that's coming in from chapters. It's really crazy. Um, so yeah, just the last little bits and pieces that I needed uh, for the end of the year. And it was sort of like a couple of things were things that I was thinking about um, and then I was within spitting distance of VIB Rouge and then I was like, you know what? You've had to buy a lot of like big things this year for like yourself and your mom, whatever, whatever. We've had quite a year. And so there's a lot of personal care items I get um, that are quite natural stuff like for my dad to try. And so I was like, you know what? You're only going to do it once because I'm not going to do this again next year. And so I just went for it and I got the couple of things I was thinking about. Um, so the first thing I got was something from my dad, which is actually the L'Occitane um, Cleansing and Softening Shower Oil uh, with almond oil. I've tried the body oil version of this, and it's really amazing. It just comes out of here and it has an oil, and you just rub it on your body, and you add water, and it's just like for your face. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Um, then I've got the La Vanilla Healthy Deodorant, but this is the unscented kind fragrance free. I don't know how that's going to go. Um, it just smells like baking soda. So, uh, and I needed, well, I mean, last year it just completely disappeared from Sephora Canada. So, um, and then I have a Burberry lipstick that I picked up for my mom. And I have I have mine somewhere <laughs> that I picked up in the VIP sale. I will show you hers, but you will not swatch it because it's not mine. Uh, and this is in claret pink. You know that it's dark in here. You can't necessarily see the color. this was because I have a mini thing so I think it was this was either that or a hundred point perk and it's the Sephora um, super regenerating serum um, I've tried one other skincare product by them before and it was um, their moisture face cream um, which was so weird uh, when I had it put on my yeah when I tried it in the store um, right after using a cleansing cloth. Um, it felt really great and I didn't have a problem with it and it didn't seem overwhelming. But I found when I I had like a reasonable size sample of it and I, I was using it, um, I did find it was not, yeah it was a little irritating. Like it, it didn't leave bumps or anything but it kind of felt a little bit itchy and it didn't feel even that moisturizing. The itchiness went away pretty quick but yeah. Um, so the next thing is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Brush, and it came in this box, which I've already kind of dismantled. And then it came in what I can only describe as a as a brush coffin. I don't know how well this is coming across on camera, but it is this this plastic box thing, which and I've never seen an unboxing of this brush before. So. I don't know if all of her brushes have brush coffins, which is, I mean, it would be super handy if I traveled a lot because honestly, I feel like, because it's a synthetic brush as well and it's so soft and it's, it's dense, but in all the right ways, like I feel like probably except for foundation or I mean, maybe even foundation, like it's pretty, pretty dead. No, you probably wouldn't do foundation with this, but still. You, I mean, you can do foundation with your hands, but you could do all the rest of your face makeup. And, you know, if you're only using one color, like, you might even be able to get away doing that. I mean, I don't know. But you could do a majority of your stuff with this brush. It feels really great quality. It's got a nice weight to it. Um, I mean, if I'm honest... Like, it's a wonderful quality. Like, I'm really, really pleased. I, I definitely feel like I got my money's worth because it's a double-ended brush. Um, I didn't really need this. It's weird. 
I'll keep it because, like I said, when I'm traveling and stuff, that could be really beneficial and definitely when girls night nights out are happening and stuff like that, um, I bring a lot of my makeup with me and like leave it out for the girls and you know we all work on it together and stuff. Anyway, um, I got I got another um, what are these called? I can't even remember. They're like Mary Minis or something um, from Bite in Cafe and Pepper. Um, And so yeah, that's right. So, so that's cafe. I also meant to pick up. Palomino and pomegranate, but they ran out. Okay, and then this is pepper. Um, and again, like this is, I can't remember what formula this is for them. It's not their luminous cream. It is, does it say? No, oh, no, it is their luminous cream. With Resveratrol. Um, all I know is these lipsticks are very moisturizing. They are beautiful. They're staining. They are really great. As long as you don't mess with them too much, they don't migrate. Um, I've got three of those little double ended ones. And honestly, the more I try from Bite, the more I love. This was an accident. I didn't mean to order two of these, but uh, this is a Formula X nail polish chop coat in Mesmerize. Although I'm not really sure if this. The problem is when I was looking online for a sheet description of this, um, I couldn't find one to save my life, which is interesting. Um, but I wasn't even more interested was the fact that the website didn't have one either. Um, so. I don't know. I've also never actually had one of their polishes, so the top comes off. Uh, I remember when I looked at these the first time around, it didn't. I was like, oh, why? It's really awkward to get back on, for the record. Um, and I almost think that I would prefer to just have it stay on, but whatever. Um, but the color looks like that. Um, I know it looked really interesting on the website and it's part of the Transformer Top Coats collection. So what's going to happen is either I'm going to go into this store and return this, or honestly it isn't hideously expensive and I can think of one of my girlfriends that might actually really, really like this and it would be a nice little treat for her. So I think actually I'm going to tuck it in her Christmas present now that I'm really thinking about it. Um, and then, 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 what are you? Something. I feel like I should know what you are. I should know what you are, but I don't. You are... Oh. Okay. Um, no, this is the Mary Mini, which I didn't. It's a deluxe sample. Uh, okay. Uh, this is the Phytokeratin Extreme. And it just says exceptional. I didn't see that it was for ultra damaged, brutal, and dry hair. And. Um, I have no idea. 
Uh, I certainly wasn't expecting it to be this, well, glass. It's a glass jar. It's very heavy. This is an extremely generous sample. Like, this is, you told me this was like, I mean, this is, wow. Really heavy, even for a sample packaging. I don't know how to make that color. How do I make you work? I can't even get the pump to work. How do I prime the pump? I am um, just going to open it. Oh god. That just smells like expensive hair. That smells amazing. Do I shake this? I know nothing about this product whatsoever. I was like, phytocarotin? Sure. That sounds like something that would be nice for my hair. I don't know if you're supposed to put it on dry. My hair likes it. There's the hat. I, I don't know. I know nothing about it. But I know that my hair just ate it. So that can't be all bad. God, that just smells like expensive some more. Good Jesus. Um... Oh, and then I have a sample from Atelier Cremini. I forgot that when you get a sample from them, you get one of their beautiful um, cards with it. I cannot remember which one. God, I feel like it was like the Mandarin one. Uh, Maison de Pifu, blah, blah, blah. Oh, Mandarin Glacier, and it's a Cologne Absolute Pure Perfume. Uh, yeah. I can't remember the notes in this. Good job, Sarah. Let that chill out for a minute and develop. Um, and then I got a little sample of the High Potency Nitamins Mineral Enriched Renewal Cream. So, there's been some talk about that. I wanted to check that out. And then I got a sample of the Ultra Repair Cream Tense Hydration for Dry Parched Skin, um, which to be honest, I am starting to need because I'm starting to get dry patches all over my face. And then I got two other polishes from uh, Formula X. I got this gray. Um, no, it's on sale. Might have been. Uh, and then I also got their black. Um, so I figured that between the three of these, I should be able to definitely put together some beautiful looks. Um, I've been watching a lot of people with the gray nails, and I was like, it's really pretty. I like it. I like that neutral. Um, so, yeah. Of course, like I said, I did get the rouge, and I don't know if I was supposed to do something for that, or I'm very confused. Um, so I'm going to email customer service and ask them about it. Because um, I know that there was supposed to be, like, I think there's supposed to be like, a welcome thing or something, and she, yeah. I don't know. Very confused. Anyway. That's the last little bit that I had. So much garbage. This is the only thing. I feel really bad about that part. Like my makeup addiction and the amount of money I spend on it, that hurts really only me. The tax man loves it. Um, but. But honestly, it's, uh, it's a lot of packaging, a lot of plastic.
Oh my god. So once you let that atelier sort of settle in, it's like you're covered in mandarin. That is really delightful. Really don't get a lot of floral head off that. Anyway, so thank you so much for watching. Sorry if I was whispering in bits. And sorry if this is... Eh. It's not as long as most of my hauls. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. And if you are seeing this before the holiday, have a very Merry Christmas. Uh, I know it's past Hanukkah. I think it's past Hanukkah. I don't even know. Um, and yeah, just have a really great New Year if I don't get my shit together between now and then, which is likely because it's me. And I will see you guys in the New Year. Okay, love you. Bye.